Hi everyone! In subtopic 4.3, you are going to learn about human reproductive system. So let's start with the male reproductive system. This is a testis. Testis temperature is maintained about 2 degrees Celsius below the core body temperature by scrotum. Inside the testis, there are several lobules. Each lobule consists of one to four tightly seminiferous tubules, which is the site for spermatogenesis. Seminiferous tubules of each lobe converge to form straight tubule that convey sperm into rete testis. There are two types of cells inside testis that are capable in producing hormones. They are Leydig cells and Sertoli cells. Leydig cells are located at the soft connective tissue of the seminiferous tubules to produce testosterone. Sertoli cells, on the other hand, rings the lumen of seminiferous tubules joined by tight junction. It provides a barrier to prevent harmful substance from entering the tubule and interfering with spermatogenesis. After being produced in seminiferous tubule, sperm are still unable to swim. They will travel from rete testis to epididymis by the pressure of testicular fluid. The immature sperm pass through the head, body and tail of epididymis. Epididymis provides site for sperm to gain increased motility and are stored in its tail until ejaculation. Vas deferens runs upward to the pelvic cavity and pass above the urinary bladder. Each vas deferens empties into the short ejaculatory duct which passes through the prostate gland and merge into urethra. The main function of vas deferens is to convey live sperm from epididymis into the urethra. The urethra is a tube that conducts urine and semen at different times. Penis contains the urethra as well as three cylinders of spongy erectile tissues. Penis will enable sperm to be inserted into female reproductive system. Semen is a complex mixture of sperm and fluid that are secreted by three types of accessory glands in the internal genitalia. They are seminal vesicle, prostate gland, and bulbourethral gland. Seminal vesicle secrete fructose and prostaglandin. Fructose nourish and provide energy for the sperm to swim whereas prostaglandin stimulates contraction of the uterus that helps to move sperm up to the female reproductive tract. Prostate gland secrete milky and alkaline fluid to neutralize the acidic environment in the vagina that might kill or slow down the sperm. Bulbourethral gland secrete mucus. It cleanses the urethra of traces from acidic urine. This mucus also lubricates the penis to facilitate penetration into vagina. You have learned about the male reproductive system. So now, let's move on to female reproductive system. Let's go! For female reproductive system, we start off with ovary. Ovary consists of a lot of tiny sac-like structure called the ovarian follicle. Each follicle consists of an immature egg called the oocyte that is surrounded by layers of follicle cell. During ovulation, the follicle will rupture releasing a secondary oocyte leaving the envelope that will develop into corpus luteum. The fallopian tubes or oviduct, uterus and vagina form the duct system of the female reproductive tract. Fimbriae create fluid current that carry the oocyte to the fallopian tube. 
oocyte will be carried toward the uterus by the combination of peristalsis and the beating of cilia. The fallopian tube or oviduct receives the secondary oocyte and provides a site for fertilization to occur. Uterus is a hollow organ to receive, retain and nourish a fertilized ovum. The wall of uterus is composed of three layers. The inner layers is called the endometrium. It is a site for implantation of a fertilized egg. When a woman's oocyte is not fertilized, the endometrium layer will slur off as menstruation. The secretion of mucus at the cervix enhances sperm movement into the uterus. It is also can block bacteria in vagina to spread into the uterus. The vagina is the female organ of copulation because it receives penis during sexual intercourse. It is also the birth canal or the passageway for the delivery of a baby. And it is also served for menstrual blood to leave the body.